what is up guys all right cool so i'm trying to do a new theme of videos it's as fast as i can do them basically uh no um fastest runs that i can do just sharing what i use with everyone else and hopefully you guys enjoy them so today we're gonna do infernus i did sonic rift before um and i'm gonna show you uh, what was the max i can get to um as far as for every esper that i have um and how fast i can actually do it so i can get infernus down to at least 30 turns i think it is um 31 31 turns so i'm gonna label this video something like this is 35 turns or less <laughs> um infernus build so uh, if you've never faced infernus before this is level 10 um difficulty 10 and basically the way infernus works is the lower the lower his HP, the higher his defense and attack. So that's the basis of Infernus. So I'm going to show you what I'm using. I have a speed lead as Ollie, obviously, because we want to go fast. We have him built as crit damage attack attack. What we really care about is his accuracy being high enough that this can go off where he gets defense down. Um, and it doesn't even say what... It doesn't really say... It doesn't show the accuracy on, on how... Like, there's no rule for his defense down, so you at least want his accuracy to be kind of okay. Um, I have him at 30. It could be a little higher. I would recommend, like, 60. Then we have Gaius, of course. Heavy damage. We have crit damage. Attack, attack. Uh, of course, fully skilled up. Then we have Chloe, who we care about the buff blocker. Um, but mainly, she's crit damage, attack, attack. Um, she's heavy, heavy damage dealer. Got her around, like, 44,000. Then we have Sander, of course, that speed lead damage, that speed damage person with AP pushback, which helps for this. You can keep pushing back in Furnace's uh, AP, so he never goes. Sander will just go faster than him, and he'll push it, the bouncing head of Infernus all the way back, and then Sander will go again and keep pushing it back. So, like in, in all honesty, Infernus never will really kind of go. And then we have Alice. Alice is what brings this together to being fast. She had in for her move, she can get assists, um, which will allow another team member to go. So if you don't have Alice, definitely try to farm for her, save all your shimmers uh, and try to get Alice. Definitely. Um, she is built on HP, HP speed, of course, and I have her on wind so she can go fast. Um, of course, she has her crit rate up and speed up for everyone. Um, but the main thing that we have her for is her passive. If Alice can take action at the start of her turn, grants, not that, <laughs> grants buffed allies by attack up. No, we care about this assist. Okay. Attacks one enemy, damage 120, 30% chance of calling in one teammate, excluding Alice, of course, to assist. I'm pretty sure if I had her combined with Yunchuan, it would be even worse. Of course, to keep this video short and sweet, we're just going to do a blitz 10 and see what we got. So you guys can see the results of this. 27 turns, yes. Ooh, is this under 30? Can I say under 30 video? Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do under 30 turns. I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you found it informative, let me know. If you would like a longer version of this and or would you like a uh, a early mid game video? Because this is definitely like a late game. Anytime I have a legendary Esper or a, a Shimmer Esper in, um, or at least two of them in one team comp, then I would consider that kind of late gamey. So especially when we have R6 Chloe and R6 uh, Sander running around. So I consider this as a late game. So if you want an early game or mid game, let me know in the comments. But if this video helped you out and you can get under 27, you see my score, um, let me know and tell me so I can update this video and do it even faster. Uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.